Hey guys, Andrew Murray here. I want to tell you about Lending Loop. Lending Loop is a service that I've been using as an investor since 2015. And basically what it is, is it's peer-to-peer -peer lending. So if you're not familiar with peer-to-peer -peer lending, peer-to-peer -peer lending is basically where um, instead of going to a bank, what happens and, and having the middle middlemen and you know a lot of income, what happens is businesses will go and um, a company like uh, Lending Loop in Canada uh, which is the uh, the first in Canada, or there's other ones uh, that are in the states. Um, peer to peer lending has been going on for at least a decade uh, over in uh, the UK and the United States. What happens is, instead of being funded by banks, it's funded by individual investors. So people like you or me, okay. And this is a really great way to lend because some of the things I like about it is there's not hidden fees. It's uh, free to join. The returns are really phenomenal, and I consider them to like almost in the sense of you're the bank in terms of you're you're able to get credit card like interest. Okay, that's very consistent, and you manage your risk through uh, diversification. So instead of me loaning five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, you know, or more to a particular business, you can lend in twenty five dollar increments. So as long as someone can start with twenty five dollars, they can do this now. Personally, I'm not giving financial advice, but I think it's a smart way for me to be diversifying my own portfolio because, as you know, the stock markets are at an all-time high right now. Um, I also invest in uh, cryptocurrencies and stuff, but you know, I do like to have some diversification. So let's jump into Lending Loop and see what it's uh, what it's all about. Okay, um, so here's the dashboard. Here you can see the uh, the lifetime earnings uh, here and your available funds that are able to, to be put into you know different loans. Okay, so th that's my maximum exposure, total account value. This is um, you know what uh, what my account is, and so I've actually taken some money out to uh, to buy some Bitcoin just because the, the prices are um, where I like them. But be that as it may, uh, I'm just going to exp you know explain what's what's here in this um, in this lending loop. So a good way to do that is uh, the 2017 year in review. So right now it's January 2018. So this is last year. Just in last year, I invested in 32 small businesses across six provinces and 13 different industries. At the year end, uh, the portfolio was generating 11.4% per year. Okay, so that's my gross yield, 11.4%. And again, this is not correlated with the stock market. That's probably the number one thing. So if the stock market, you know, Who's, runs into a dive. Um, this is not correlated with it, and that's why why I really like it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different wristbands, and I know that some of these go all the way down to like uh, D, but in corporate lending, it's it's a little bit you know it's it's not as bad as it looks in terms of if you were looking at uh, you know this wouldn't be someone that has like a, a five hundred dollar uh, or five hundred uh, credit score. Um, it's it's it just kind of works on a different a different system, and I should say that Lending Loop um, doesn't make these up. These are industry you know based on you know how they pick loans. So Lending Loop actually vets them, and they have over a hundred different questions that they ask businesses, and then if they're vetted as a, as a, an investment that Lending Loop thinks is good, then they're added to the the platform, and you can pick them. So how you do that is you go to the marketplace, and as you see here, um, you know these are all uh, non-specific. I can't actually show you specifically what companies are um, these loans are for, but these are the ones that they're looking for uh, for funding right now. And how it works is you'll see uh, back over here on the dashboard total commitment. So fifty dollars means. I'm not earning money on that yet, but I've committed to specific loans that haven't been finalized yet. Okay, how they get finalized is they get uh, the full amount, right? And so this progress bar is ticking over. That's the total amount of the loan, seventy-five, seventy-five thousand dollars that this company is looking for, and they're sixty-six point six three percent on the way there to being funded. So you can just click on these if you, you know, if this was something that you wanted to invest in, um, you could. Uh, you could certainly do that, and you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, of information about that. Um, so you'll see what the what the company is. I'll have to blur this out. Uh, the loan details, 
uh, business details. They're going to explain about what they're using the, the loan for. You can look at the company financials, um, you know, see the, uh, the profit and loss statement, all that kind of stuff. And you can ask them questions. All right. So that's for someone that, that knows a little bit about business. They also have auto lend. Uh, which I like. Um, I think it's a great feature. They just added it uh, just in, in late 2017. So what you can do is you can put this to a specific loan, okay, $25, you know, however much you want. And if you want to maximize diversification, then it's not going to put into the same business multiple times, but you can put it into everything, into low risk or into high risk, or you can create your own plan that's going to say, well, I feel comfortable with, you know, these ones, and you know I'm not going to do E, and I don't want to do A because there's not enough uh, you know reward for me. Let's say, so you can actually create your custom plan. Let's say, and uh, and then it will actually auto lend for you. Okay, so it will pick it for you. So as soon as your money's in there, um, then it will actually allocate that to a particular loan. So for example, uh, as soon as you have twenty-five dollars in there, it's going to allocate it to a particular loan. The other nice thing about that is you can set up a recurring deposit. So this makes it like, um, you know how people automatically invest in their RSP or uh, their TFSA. What you can do here is you can actually put in a specific amount and the minimum has to be $200. But you know, let's say you want to do that you know, monthly or you want to do that one time. Uh, let's say you want to do that monthly. Um, you can pick a start date and then you can do that and have it done uh, every month, right? So you're able to put money into this like you would um, an, an RSP. So they have uh, statements and all that stuff. Um, so you can see all your statements, the uh, total earnings statements for 2017 uh, tax year haven't been sent out, but uh, that's going to have all your tax information and you know all that good stuff. Um, now the other cool thing is when you join Lending Loop. Um, I'm going to give you a link in this video. Once you have loaned $1,500 on this platform, you're going to get an extra $25. Okay, and um, I'll give you the uh, the link here. If you want to read more about Lending Loop, um, feel free to. I'll also link to my review on my blog where I talk about uh, Lending Loop and you know what peer-to-peer -peer investing is. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, be sure to click the subscribe button, ding that bell for the notifications. And if you have any questions about anything, about making money online or about investing, I'd be more than happy to get back with you. So uh, leave your comments down below and let me know what you love best about Lending Loop. I want to know what you, what excites you, what gets you going about Lending Loop or peer-to-peer -peer investing in general. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.